guys, it's your humble host, or KF you prefer, so I'm back with an actual video, and as you can see, I'm still using the same layout for my live streams. I apologize for not putting out actual videos, I've been messing with live stream stuff for the past one to two weeks, as you can see I've created graphics for the flat screen TV, as you see here is... Uh, my own creation. It's a PNG file I made. Anyway, I've been having fun and not really paying attention to what's been going on, so to speak, in regards to my own channel comment-wise. So, to give a little bit of context, because I came across a uh, comment left by a particular person about a week back. This comment disappeared. I could not find it. So, as you know, for anyone who has a Samsung, you can um, sync your Gmail, your YouTube to where you get notifications on your phone when someone comments or responds to a comment of yours. So, I got a notification on my phone from the one and only Melissa Toro. For those of you who do not know who that is or um, are aware of what happened with her, Melissa Toro, a few months back, because I did cover this on my channel, she runs the coffee shop Toro Coffee in Seattle, Washington, and on the website, I do not know if it's there anymore, but it was. You can go and watch the video. I'll put the link in the description below for you guys to see. Pretty much, they are very much anti-gun, anti-Second Amendment, anti-NRA, anything that has to do with firearms, they are pretty much against. So... I had covered um, their website, the controversy surrounding them, because they put on their website telling people to go shoot themselves in the face as they clean their firearms. Aren't they nice? So about a week ago, as I'm doing my own thing and I've been busy with other things, I get a notification on my phone from Melissa Toro. And Google keeps record of the notifications and it'll show you in that notification the comment that it's notified you of. So, I take a snapshot of the notification because the actual comment disappears, strangely enough. As well as I can't find her YouTube channel. Found her Google profile, but not her YouTube channel. Anyway, cut to tonight. I have really nothing to do, and I'm just going through the comment section of my own channel, and I come across her comment edited. It, and I have it pulled up right here, and it's on my video covering the crap that her and her cronies did um, by telling people to go shoot themselves, pretty much killing themselves while cleaning their firearm. Yeah, it, it's really fucked up. Anyway, I'm going to read the edited comment first and break that down, and then I'm going to go read the original one that I managed to grab. Anyway, let's begin. Customers. No, our customers are life. We told the NRA, who cried and still cried, like the little Russian puppets they are, and you, left behind evolution trailer trash fools who don't even know how to say conquistador of the soul to fuck yourselves. Get it straight, Karen. Go back to talking about Joy Sparkle trailer trash. Un-American trash who can't even speak English. Nice. Okay, so let's break that down. This woman is convinced that the NRA are Russian puppets. The National Rifle Association are people who are wanting to protect the Second Amendment as gun control keeps creeping further and further in. I'm all for um, respectable gun control that does thorough background checks, and I'm also all for the Second Amendment and having people being able to defend themselves in their own home, in their own car, by carrying a firearm legally. I'm all for that. Now, the other stuff, evolution. I'm apparently left behind by evolution. We're apparently all left behind evolution, for those of us who are pro-Second Amendment, because we want to carry a firearm on our person or in our homes to defend ourselves. We're clearly left behind evolution, guys. Um, the other thing, Conquestador of the Soul. Pretty much in my first video, for anyone who's been around my channel, who has talked to me, I have a bit of a speech problem. It's not a speech impediment, but my brain tends to go faster than my mouth. I tend to ramble and I tend to stutter like I did there. Over my words are mispronounced words from time to time. Like the running joke of my channel is... 
Pacific versus Pacific. I used to say just Pacific, so you can, the cunt stream pokes fun at me about that. It just, it's, it's a little quirk I have, and I've worked on it and corrected myself to try to make sure I pronunciate my words. So, with her putting Conquestador of the Soul, she's trying to make fun of me for uh, mispronouncing stuff and not talking correctly. I'm high-functioning autistic, I'm a past victim, you know, shit happens. So, and yes, I did bring that up because that does have to do with the way I talk, so... Anyway, uh, get it straight, Karen. My name's Kayla. That was clearly pronounced in my video. Or your humble host, or Chambers. I don't give a damn. It's not Karen, but you're trying to once again make a dig at me and just, oh my god, the fact that you even came around my video to begin with when I covered you a while back and you're just now poking your head around me is freaking hilarious. Go back to talking about Joy Sparkle Trailer Trash. Okay, so not only does she make a dig at me, she makes a dig at Joy. Now granted, I've made my distance from Joy. I don't talk with Joy. I have nothing against her. I don't agree with what she's doing, but I'm not going to go out of my way to attack her. I've settled my beef with her. Um, but yeah, so the fact that she's trying to drag Joy into this shows that number one, she's looking for more digs, which is really quite sad. Number two, that she's done some homework on me, so that tells me that she might have seen my video a little bit prior to her leaving her comment like she did a week ago, which you'll see the original one here in a minute. And then this is the cherry on top, if you will, un-American trash who can't even speak English. Nice. So not only is she being racist, which is really freaking weird, she's also being prejudiced. She's making fun of the way that I'm talking or the way that I speak or pronounce it stuff. And by calling me un-American trash, she is implying <laughs> that I'm garbage because I can't pronounce the English language properly. Therefore, making me, I'm un-American. Isn't that nice? These, and to tell you, I know a little bit about Melissa Toro. Um, I had someone messaging me when I released my video uh, through my graphics page, The Chambers of My Heart on Facebook. I had someone messaging me about the history of her family. She's the daughter of a crime boss. I would have to go back and look at the name, but it's just... Apparently craziness runs in the family. I'm not one to really bash or shit talk other people and the family members and their stuff that's handed down, but yeah, you're not stable like at all. And considering how if you go into her Twitter or you try to bring up her Twitter handle, which is Real Melissa Toro, it got suspended. When I had released my video on her, her Twitter was still up and running. When she left her comment, I went back and looked. Her Twitter is now suspended. I don't know what for, but I took a snapshot and it was fucking hilarious. So like I said, the fact that you're trying to come at me, poking at me, making digs. Yes, I talk funny. Yes, sometimes I mispronounce stuff, but you're fucking crazy. The fact that you're telling people to go kill themselves while they're cleaning their firearm is fucking insane. Go get help. It is normal for people who want to defend themselves. Anyway, before I go on more of this rant, I'm going to bring up the original version, which I have it here. Melissa Toro commented, I love how you can't even pronounce the large words we use at Taro. LMAO, you made a video about a tweet. Cheers. Keep plugging. I know it is hard being left behind by the evolution. Good luck with that. Once again, wanting to defend yourself and wanting to do so properly is not being left behind by evolution. It's actually smart considering the way that society is going and considering how our leaders, some of our leaders, are wanting to open our borders on top of letting all these people in that don't belong here. Yeah, firearms is sounding like a really good fucking idea. Why don't you go live your dumb ass in Sweden or in parts that are completely gun free? Look at all the acid attacks. Look at all the knife violence. Look at all the freaking rape statistics that have gone up in those areas. Wake up, dude. And you're probably coming around and poking at me 
because your business took a hit, not because of me and my video. My video was small potatoes. Because, like I said, and I believe I mentioned this already, there is a, another coffee company that I believe is in um, nearby. And I'm going to go look for them because I do follow them on Twitter. They do advertise their coffee beans with uh, firearms and they're very much um, pro Second Amendment, pro NRA, because they started to swoop over your customers when you pulled your stunt. So anyway, I know this video is a little bit out of the blue, guys, but I found the edited comment. Yes, it's from a week ago, but I was going through my stuff tonight and I wanted to respond to it. Melissa, go away. <laughs> You're trying to go around and poke at people. What a you guys like fucked over your own business, man. If business is in the tank, that's on you, man. <laughs> what the fuck?